Let's talk about this. Do you want to see more interviews from the biggest hip hop artists with music journalists, actually music journalists? Want to know the same thing? What you know? I think hip hop journalism is right now? The state of it, yeah. Cause... I think it's in a tough state. That's why I'm out here trying to fight the good fight in whatever unorthodox way I'm fighting it. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. The biggest artists do need to talk to journalists. You, you ain't got you, the if, answers. If you, if, you, you ain't got the answers, Sway. Kanye. I've been doing this more than you. Real music journalists need to exist and they need to be respected. Not just for the artists, but for fans. Artists were going to journalists to tell their story, right? Like they would use what a journalist is... as the liaison between them and the public. As a journalist, are you in the same realm as Elliot Wilson and being frustrated at the quality of perceived Great journalism? Question. Truth is, the biggest artists don't do interviews anymore. They feel they don't need to. They have social media. They can disseminate their own messages. Artists yeah. don't like doing interviews with journalists anymore. There's also a piece of responsibility of uh, representing the culture and making sure that we did that properly. Hip hop versus the media, or is it really rappers versus the media because i do believe media is hip-hop as well there's several different facets to this culture that we do call hip-hop no one has a dominant claim over that a b-boy a graffiti artist dj everybody has the same stake in this culture people just just live in it people that write about it people that just make this their lifestyle that the, they live and breathe no one can say that one part of the culture is more important than the other and that's where this gets interesting it feels like artists think that they're above media and the people in general their lack of wanting to do any type of media in long form to really craft their narrative or not necessarily them craft it but allow a professional to craft their narrative for them and bring a different perspective to the people is being lost from the beginning of the time that's been an important part of music and entertainment in general having professionals disseminate your views your point your standpoints just the way that you see things to the masses, to the people. I know that we've gotten into a time of social media and everybody wants to craft their own narrative and control their own narrative, but there also has to be a balance with an outside voice, having an inside view of what you have going on and giving that to the people, just so people have an understanding of who's who. It seems like everybody kind of want to be prints nowadays and just be super mysterious. And while that does work for some people, everyone really shouldn't be playing that game. By not having any type of exposure that you're not curating yourself, it leaves a lot open to interpretation. And that's a narrative you can't control. We've seen a lot of interpreting lately and misconstruing and just a lot of emotional things going on with artists about how they feel they're being misunderstood or how they possibly feel they're being misunderstood. But that is because they're not making themselves available to any type of media outlets to really craft the story, get their side of things out get their emotions out, their viewpoints on things out, their art, and this the general take on life. I think a lot of artists nowadays feel like that's an old school approach, but it was something that worked and it was something that was there for a reason. Now, with that being said, a lot of the, and I won't just say hip hop, but a lot of media or entertainment personalities, journalists that have had access to these stars over the years, they kind of abused their position. A lot of times when people did get interviews, you didn't get anything significant in the interview. The journalist was really just there to feel like they're part of the circle. They're on good terms with this artist. They want to build their personal relationships for their brands, not ask any questions that are going to make the artist upset or look at them sideways. Tough questions or the things that people want to know is just a part of journalism. And that part did get lost over the last few years. Being able to really give critical feedback, give pushback to answers when you think an artist is, you know, BSing you, it's all fair game and it shouldn't be looked at as disrespect by an artist or somebody, you know, challenging you should not be a reason to not want to participate in getting your voice out there, your voice heard. Everybody has a job to do and this thing works together in concert. You make music, you need fans to get out to the fans, you need messaging, you need the people that, that get that information out. So everything works hand in hand. Nobody is bigger than the program. But the media people that are privileged enough to have access to some of these stars have to be accountable themselves and not just be fanboys and stands. You really have to hold artists accountable. You really have to, to ask the things that the people really want to know and not so much get caught up in all the tabloid gossipy chaos that became hip hop journalism over the last, you know, however many years.
Journalism and professional perspective is something that's always been a part of the culture. From the days of Word Up to the Source Magazine to XXL and everything in between. Having a professional tell the story, a professional get the insight and give an unbiased viewpoint to the consumer is something that gotten lost, but I think we can really bring that back. Everybody shares a responsibility in that. That's the artists themselves with building relationships with people that they do trust to tell the story in a fair and accurate way. The journalists that get that access and not abuse it, not try to use it for your own personal benefit. And the consumers themselves. We have to really retrain ourselves to appreciate quality content, not looking for salacious tabloid stuff. There's always going to be a place for that, but we can't make everything about random things that really aren't at the essence and at the heart of what the artist has going on in the story that they want to tell and in the art that they want to portray. We have to make the art the number one thing, not the side stories. And I think doing all of that builds a level of trust within everybody in the community and the community as a whole. And there's nothing more hip hop than that. Watch this next video.